Hey guys, I found something. It's a Rambler, meaning it's an AMC. And I love doing any type of car reviews on an AMC, you know, American Motor Company. They had, or American Motor Corporation, they had some real nice cars to come out, you know, during their tenure. And if you don't know, they were, the American Motor Corporation was a product of Hudson, Jeffrey, and Nash Motor Companies forging together. And they created the American Motor Corporation. And through that, this is where you got the Javelin. This is where you got the uh, AMX, those, that series of cars, and uh, the Gremlin, you know, along with other cars, the Rambler, the Rebel, and, you know, hey, a lot of good cars came out of um, America, AMC. Let's just say AMC, you know. So I found a Rebel. I want you guys to have a good look at it. It's a nice car, you know. Give us some love. Okay guys, hey, it's a 1965 AMC Rambler. And it's got a 327 in it. It's a four door. So usually I cover the coupes and the sedans, and, but you know, or the coupes I should say. But this one here turned out to be a nice find. Old school family size box car but it's a clean one it's really clean and it's a 65 so you're gonna find some nicks something about the car a little ding here ding there but the car looks like it survived the test of time And I don't see much wrong with it. You look at the interior. The interior looks really good. And that back dashboard, it looks really nice. We're gonna look at the driver's side seat. As we come in and we swing around and look at this dash. 120 on the dash. Temperature gauges. I doubt if this thing has air conditioning. It's real nice. Nice and clean. Let's look at the other side. That's kind of an eyeball to me that the tailpipe is sitting right there off to the side. But it's a for three. With this, I'll put some duels on here. <laughs> That's just me. This dashboard is real nice and clean. I don't see too much wrong with it. Looking at the other side, the radio. Clean floor, clean carpet. Yeah, this turned out to be a nice looking find. Real nice car, let's check out the information on it. Sixty-five Rambler, guys. Okay, guys. Hey, I found an old classic. Uh, I wanted you guys to look at it. It's a fifty-one Ford. Okay, and I guess they used to call these cars the Bulldogs. You know, it's a two-door sedan. Um, let's take a look at it. You're gonna like it. Yeah, guys. It's a 1951 coupe. They used to call these things the Bulldogs. I don't know if it represented a bulldog. They look like a bulldog, but 
I look at that front end, I guess those two bumpers there could be the bulldog's teeth sticking out. <laughs> but uh, this car is truly a restored car. And for what I looked at it, it's been restored and they did a really nice job on it. I couldn't find too much wrong with the car personally. I'm not a buff on this year model, but this thing has dual exhaust back here, you know. So evidently somebody knew what they were doing when they did that. Cause I'm pretty sure when Ford produced these cars, you know, it was a single exhaust V8. This thing also has a flathead V8 motor in it. So as we look from the driver's side, you can see it's just two seats. They deleted the rear seats. So nothing but carpet back there. And the headliner, all that's new. All that's new. The whole interior is new. Everything. Look at that steering wheel matches the paint. Look at that dash. See the sticks here? So it might have been an automatic and they just had that to shift with. I'm not sure. I, mean, I don't know much about this year car, but I know when it says 100 on the dash, the car must have enough pep to get up. This is a real nice car. Let's look at the other side. Yeah, I still like this front end. I don't have much complaints about that. And you know, back in that era, they always put these planes on top of the hood, you know. And they had a big three. All of them had it. And by the way, it says Deluxe right there. V8. So. For back at the time, they were really pumping these cars out. Mass production. Mass production. And all this chrome back here. This chrome right here on the side going to the tail lights. Chrome bumpers, chrome tip, dual exhaust. Chrome right there. I love Chrome. I don't know about most of the people who watch these videos, but I love Chrome. I love to see Chrome trim everywhere. Can't get enough of it. You're not going to get that on newer cars anymore. I've always loved Chrome. And whoever watches this video, maybe you can leave a comment. Let me know something about this shifter here. Cause I don't know if that's stick shift with three speed or if it's just a two speed with reverse, but we're gonna find out on the information. As we look at this bench, it's a real nice interior. They whoever did this re redid this car, rest restored this car, they knew what they were doing. I mean, it's a nice job on here, real nice job. Let's look at this information, see what we can find. 51 Ford, flathead V8. It's two-speed auto, okay. Burgundy with gray interior. I'll let you guys get that uh, description so you can read it. And uh, you can find it here at Gateway Classic Cars, man. Crete, Illinois. Give them a call or look them up online.